So the question uh, here is, um, is having lucid dreams a matter of luck or is it possible with lots of practice? So I suppose the implication of that question is that lucid dreams are something you would want to have. Um, uh, and I guess the jury's out a little bit on whether it's a desirable thing or really a helpful thing, although it's certainly an intriguing thing. A lucid dream is a dream when you're aware that you're dreaming. It's kind of like somewhere in between uh, sleep and wakefulness. It's, a, it's an altered state of consciousness. And actually there's some research that shows that the EEG signature, that's the electrophysiological signature from the brain, is actually different during lucid dreaming than it would be during other stages of sleep, including conventional dreaming sleep. Now there are some people who seem to be more aware of their dreams than others. Um, perhaps um, you know, that's just an individual difference. Um, there are people who become aware of their dreams um, when they've had traumatic experiences. Uh, and some of them are able to bring themselves out of their dreams because they're aware they're dreaming. And indeed, there's um, a procedure known as nightmare rescripting to help people uh, who are having dreams to become more aware of them so that they can then alter the ending to the dream to make it less nightmarish in quality. But that does take a lot of practice, a lot of training, and, and, and uh, preparing yourself for the night and giving yourself self-instructions about how to deal with your dream. So lucid dreaming is a very interesting phenomenon, it's being studied scientifically, but there's also quite a lot that's out there, you know, available on the internet, which is not really at all scientifically proven. Um, and of course, anywhere where there's intrigue, it will attract people who've got strange hypotheses and unproven things. So read things carefully on the internet about this. It's a, it is a phenomenon that we can measure, uh, we can see it clinically, um, and we can also study it uh, um, in the sleep laboratory. Um, but science in this area is relatively new.